Well, belly gunner marksman Porrick Mahoney will captain the Waterford Hurlers in 2020. Mahoney has been a Dacia regular since his debut in 2011 and was top scorer for belly gunner this season with 89 points as they won six in a row. Abbey side defender Connor Prunty is the new vice captain after establishing himself at full back during 2019. I spoke to Connor last week at TQS in Lismore and asked him firstly about how he has found the past month under new boss Liam Cahill. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been going really good to us. Uh, it's really enjoyable. At the moment, uh, I suppose they're, kind of, they're testing us out and uh, I suppose keeping us on our toes. In what way are they testing you out? Oh, I suppose physically and I suppose they're putting us through, uh, I suppose, like every other team at this time of year, the hard yards and stuff. And uh, I suppose just really kind of, I suppose, they're new to us, so they want to see what they have, really. Yeah. Mm. What's the been most gruelling part of that sort of physical work so far, Connor? Uh, hopping into the car on the way home, I suppose, when you're sore, for me anyway. But uh, no, most of it's, I suppose, the running is hard, but I suppose everyone just drives each other on and we get through it. And I suppose you just keep pushing on through the session, and I suppose. It's it's what you have to do. Yeah, who's who's leading that sort of work at the moment? Uh, from a management point mm. of view, I suppose Mikey Bevins has most of the train, uh, Steve Malumphy, and then uh, we have Joey O'Brien, who was with us last year from WIT, uh, and Tommy Ryan, and in with strength and conditioning side. So, yeah. What sort of impression has Liam Cahill made in you so far? Uh, I suppose it's early days yet, but he's very positive. So. I suppose from that point of view, like he, he's everyone really, I suppose driving to to improve this year. Yeah. What sort of message was he trying to get to across to the players when he he, he first uh, approached you, Connor? Um, I suppose that he believed that there was talent there and that that there there's something in us and that like do we just have to believe it and work hard and work hard with him and back him and trust him and hopefully it'll show in our results next year. Is he, is he placing a lot of the demands on the players even at this early stage of the year? Um, I suppose like it's it's no different to, to any other team. Like to, I suppose every team is probably training the same as we are at the moment. So I suppose in that kind of way, demands are the same. I suppose it's just about applying yourself and training. Is amongst the players is there kind of a hunger to make amends for results last summer, Connor? Uh, yeah, definitely. Like you, you, you don't really want to feel like that again coming off the field or anything like that. So. Uh, I suppose everyone's just pushing hard and uh, trying to improve again now for next year. How did you find the step up to Munster Championship hurling last summer? It was your your major your your championship debut there at fullback. Uh, yeah, it, it's frantic. It's frantic enough, I suppose, is the word. You're kind of you're on edge for most of it. I felt that you you couldn't really switch off, or that you're always kind of thinking, or you're, you're you're just on your like you are on edge for majority of the game, like until the final whistle. So I suppose. It's different in that regard that you can't, you can't switch off at all. Yeah, is that, is that the, the major difference? You know, it's your concentration levels have to be up for the full seventy and beyond. Yeah, yeah, that and the physicality, I suppose. Yeah. Mm. And and who was the the toughest opponent you came across last year? We'll say in either league or championship. Uh, I suppose they were all tough in their own way. They all 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 the fours that I suppose I came across had so, offered something different. Um, I, I actually don't even know, have one to name. I suppose Patrick Horgan was. Tough is skill, like skill is phenomenal and stuff like that. So I'd probably go Patrick Corbin. And, and in, injury wise, Connor, how are you coping at the moment? I suppose you had a couple of setbacks over the, the last couple of years, and you're kind of threatening to make a breakthrough. Uh, yeah, I suppose uh, so far clean bit of health. So yeah, looking forward to it, and hopefully it stays like that. Yeah, are you, are you working with anyone physio wise on an indiv- individual basis? Uh, not really. No, I, I haven't actually been in with a physio now in a while. So it's it's it's, it's a good sign. Um, I suppose just. Keep Keeping on top of the gym work and stuff, and keep, keeping yourself fresh. So it's the main thing. And you're you're working back locally again, is that right? Uh, yeah, I I'm repeating two modules in CIT, so I am in now the Radleys in Dungarvan at the moment. So uh, very grateful to them for the their I suppose support throughout the last few years. I've always been working with them since I suppose after fourth year in school. They've always been there during the summers and stuff for me. So it's a great company, and I really really enjoy my time there. At Christmas, all roads lead home. Happy Christmas from WLOR.